beautiful but <laughs> excuse you hello my beautiful butterflies welcome back to my channel my name is Beverly this little chap here is Gizmo he's my co-star today and it is just lovely to see you here today um, in this video we're going to be talking about mental health and how having a pet can help <laughs> So Gizmo here is my best friend, he's a Shih Tzu and um, he's 11 so he's getting on a bit now, he's older than me aren't you? When Gizmo um, arrived my husband had actually gone to pick him up from the breeder and um, when he came he was tiny and Lee put him into my arms and the moment he got into my arms he just uh, he just relaxed and we've been best friends ever since that moment he is a really chilled out dog he rarely sh barks or does anything crazy he just kind of this is this is this is gizmo for all the time <laughs> which i love about him he's just so chilled out he doesn't mind not being able to go on walks very often which I'm very grateful for because obviously I can't always get out to take him for walks um, but we are just best friends we're together all the time and um, he's just the best I would honestly say that ever since we got him there's been a difference in my mental health having him here just to cuddle and stroke he makes me laugh, he does really stupid things. I'm going to put some pictures up of silly gizmo right now because he can be very silly at times. But I love that. He's got this crazy wacky side to him just like I have that kind of brings me out of feeling bad and makes me laugh. And he's just so cute. Look at him. He's so cuddly and he sleeps. I have a pillow that my physiotherapist makes me... Well, she doesn't make me, but um, I put um, in front of me so I don't roll onto my front and hurt my shoulder. He discovered this and now he's so happy because he can curl up next to his mom on a pillow on a double bed. Because you like to be comfortable. Where are you going? Oh, you're going on your cushion. See, he likes being on a cushion. He likes being comfortable. He likes being on a cushion. He likes having cuddles, which all fits with his breed. They were bred specifically for doing just this, weren't you? Yes! <laughs> He's the cutest dog ever and he always makes me smile. He's helped me so much. Also, my husband really loves having Gizmo. He loves that when he comes home from work, he rushes to see him. He's so excited when he comes home. But there's also, um, we have two birds. You might be able to hear them in this video they're in the other room right now because they they kind of they're very loud when I record but um, one day we went into a pet shop and Lee had been really depressed because of work he'd been doing a very difficult case he's a police officer we went into um, a pet shop and he saw these budges and he was just like we always had birds as a kid I'd really love to get some birds so we got birds and they help him so much he loves just sitting after a busy day at work he loves just sitting and watching them they're both so funny and he loves watching them just chilling out and it brings it helps him relax and i think it's important to know that it doesn't have to be a cat or a dog it can be a budgie a hamster a rat a snake whatever any kind of pet will help your mental health and sometimes your physical health too. So I've been doing some research because I don't like to just say things anecdotally. I think it's important to know that yes, people have done studies into this. And it's important to know that. It's important to be aware of the fact that this is all backed up with science. So let's get to it, shall we? So in 2011, the Cats Protection and Mental Health Foundation got together to do a study. They found that 87% of people who owned a cat 
found that it had a positive effect on their well-being. Half said that cat's presence and companionship was helpful and a third, a third, said that stroking the cat was calming and helpful activity. Anybody who has a cat would say that that is definitely true. I grew up with cats. My cat, Charlie, she passed away. Uh, I think I was like 21, but I had her from like the age of six and she was my best friend. She slept on my feet every night and I loved that cat. So I know what it's like to have a cat and just to love the fact that although most of the time cats don't want to know you, if they pick you as their human, you are so lucky and I was her human. One article stated that studies found that pet owners are less likely to have depression. People with pets have lower blood pressure. Playing with a dog or cat can elevate serotonin, which is great for depression. So that's the chemical that's naturally released. And if you have depression, you have less of that. So having more of that is such a good thing. Pet owners have lower triglyceride and cholesterol levels, both of which are indicators of heart disease. Heart attack patients with pets survive longer. They also found that pet owners over the age of 65 who live alone make 30% fewer doctor's visits. And that watching fish in an aquarium reduces muscle tension and lowers pulse rate. So really a lot of a lot of the studies were about cats and dogs, but it's I mean it's so true. Watching and getting out of yourself, mindfulness, you know, letting go of whatever's going on in, in your day and just watching some fish or watching a bird or a snake or a rat burrowing, whatever it is that you like, whatever kind of pet, it's going to help your mental health. It's going to help get you away from that stressful situation and help you just kind of calm down and be in the moment. And that is what everybody wants. I also found that a lot of studies had realised that pets make you more sociable. This is especially true for dogs because you have to take them out for walks and getting out of there, getting out into the great wild wilderness of the world, <laughs> out where humans are, then you tend to strike up conversations. And I've found this. I very rarely can go out on my own, but sometimes I try and get outside, go and take the dog out, have a little walk. And you do find yourself just saying hello to people. People will come over to pet gizmo, and you end up saying hello and greeting other dogs and you know having a little conversation with people and it really helps it does help it helps with the loneliness it helps with my anxiety it helps me to learn social skills because the more time you spend on your own the more your social skills can kind of go which is really sad but true Pets also give you a routine and I found this when I have really bad depression because I have chronic depression so it comes and goes in waves but when it's bad all I want to do is just lie in bed and sleep. I want to sleep it away, I want to just sleep but if Lee is at work then I have to get up, I have to get out of bed, I have to give Gizmo his breakfast, I have to let him outside, I have to do these things whether I want to or not. And sometimes that encouragement just gets you into a routine and forces you up and out and gets you doing things when maybe your mental health is telling you you don't want to be doing it. And that's got to be a good thing. A 2009 study also found that pet owners who lived alone, who were over the age of 60, were four times less likely to get clinical depression. And I also saw a thing, because I was looking for, like, um, I was hoping to find some kind of charity aspect that would come and help, you know, have somebody come over and just spend a couple of hours talking to me. I don't need someone necessarily to nurse me or to help me 
in the way that the NHS provides but I kind of could do with someone to just pop around maybe once a week for a cup of tea and I was looking for that. The only thing that I found was on Help the Aged um, because they are doing, they were, I don't know if they still are, but they were doing a whole thing about loneliness because that's the biggest killer in the elderly because especially like I found with my grandmother before she passed away, my granddad had died and she was starting to get Alzheimer's but most of her friends had passed away or they were so elderly themselves that they couldn't come and visit and that was really really sad to see we'd go over and see her and she'd be like I haven't seen anybody in so long I'm so lonely and it was awful to see her so lonely and she did escalate faster once my granddad had gone and I think that was just because of the loneliness and there have been studies into this. Having a pet, I think if she'd been well enough, we would have probably gotten her a pet. And that would have helped. So knowing things like that can really help. And I think it's important to be aware of these things. If you're suffering with mental health, maybe getting a pet. If your living situation fits, if your routine fits, getting a pet can be a big game changer. I know that my friend Mary Lou, she has a YouTube channel and a great podcast. Check her out, I'll leave a link down below, as well as to all the studies and all the articles that I've used to get all this information. But she recently moved with her fiance to a new apartment because they could have pets. And they got two beautiful cats. They are so cute. And they have said on their podcast that they helped their mental health. It's just a fact, anecdotally and through research, it's a fact. So if you're able to, definitely look into that if you're suffering with mental health issues. Maybe getting a pet to help give you some routine and companionship will be a big help. I know Mr Gizmo helps me, don't you mate? Is he? He does sometimes just ignore me. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. Um, if you have any animals, definitely give me some really cute stories down below. Tag me on Instagram if you've got pet pictures because I love pet pictures. I retweet a lot of pet things because animals are just too precious. They're too good for us humans, if I'm going to be honest. So if you have any cute stories, if you want to tell me how you found your animal, whether it was a rescue or a breeder, I want to hear all about your animals, so definitely leave it down below, especially if you've found that they've helped your mental health, because I think that's really important. And it uh, looks like it's time for Gizmo's nap, so I'm going to wrap this up. My beautiful butterflies, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to click that little subscribe button right down there. Ring that little bell so you always know when I upload. I'm usually here Mondays and Fridays, my health permitting. I would absolutely love it if you join the tribe and click that subscribe button. I, um, I hope you have a wonderful week ahead of you. I hope you've had a lovely day and I will see you next time. Bye.